Hello, my name's Lynn Pugh and I'm an artist with Veritas. I'm based in Andover in Hampshire, or just outside in a village called Gubbeth Clatford. The painting is called God's Abundant Blessing and it shows oil pouring in from, from the top of the picture and falling down on the man who is receiving it on his head and catching it in his hands. Oil in the Bible is used for a variety of purposes. It's used in cooking and baking. It's used in consecration of items that are used in the temple. It's used to make the bread that is used in the temple. In Mark 6.13, oil is used for the anointing and healing of the sick. In the home, in the tabernacle, oil was used for lighting in the oil lamps. The kings in the Bible were anointed with oil. We read that when Samuel anointed David, the spirit of the Lord rushed upon him. That can be found in 1 Samuel 16 verse 13. And from this verse and some others like it, sometimes oil is used to represent the Holy Spirit. The oil in my painting brings to mind Psalm 23. The verses tell of a generous God, a God who gives so that we lack nothing. A God who gives rest, who leads, who guides, who refreshes us. A God who keeps us safe and who, for all of our lives, tends us with goodness and mercy. Verse 5 says, You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. I've always pictured that as connected, though I don't really think it is. The oil running into and filling up the cup because there's just so much of it. Even if it's not oil that the cup overflows with, the message is the same. God blesses us beyond our asking abundantly. Notice the position of the man in the painting. He is kneeling in surrender, acknowledging that he has no power of his own and that he is in the presence of one who is mighty. When the oil, representing God's blessing, comes, it is not a stingy trickle. It pours out. The man feels it as Aaron felt it, running on his beard, running down the collar of his robe. He opens his fingers and it runs through and pulls around him. Why so much? Well, that oil will spread. We will have enough to be generous to others. We are blessed to be a blessing. I tried to create a painting that is heavenly rather than earthly. A sky that is beautiful, but not one that you'd recognise. And I really enjoyed getting caught up in this here that just has that otherworldly feeling to it. The canvas has been varnished. It's been edge finished. So there's no need to uh, frame it. But a floating box mount would also work really well on this. So here is my second painting. It's about God's beautiful church. The way that we're all different and yet we fit together as one body. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 12 to 14. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptised into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one members, but of many. The church is not a static thing, it's not a building. It's an ever-changing, ever-growing, really diverse collection of people. And it's never really complete, that it's always in a state of flux, always a work in progress. Churches had to adapt so quickly during the pandemic. They had to hurry to get online and do things differently. But the result meant that there was a new congregation, a congregation that reached further than anyone would ever have believed possible. We were seeing people from all different countries and all different faiths joining with our online regular congregation. The services were put out on YouTube. The congregation became global and it was much more a picture of the way God intended the church to be. This one body that in every part is so different and yet works together to be one whole. Is it perfect? Well, no, it's made up of imperfect people. But is it beautiful? Yes, it should be. It should be something that's attractive to others. 
it's God's plan that we should grow more like him and therefore fit together more perfectly. So here's the picture. Um, it's a deep box canvas. And again, as always, edge finished and ready to hang. But as you see the finer details, there's layers of glaze over the top that add this sort of shimmering movement. And uh, just little details here and there, places where gaps have appeared, but other gaps have been filled. Romans 12 verse 5. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members one of another.